What's up guys and welcome to another DIY art video. Today's art piece is I'm gonna try to make a human iris. You know, like the super colored part of the eye. It is like the nicest part of a human. I've always been fascinated by the human iris. Everyone's got a different one. They are beautiful on every single person. Like seriously, I've never seen a boring eye. But anyways, I figured I wanna try to make an art piece with resin of an iris that I can essentially manipulate to change to have different colors to mimic people's eyes. I am giving this piece away that you see in this video. If you wanna learn how to win, stay tuned to the end of this video because if you're watching this the week it gets uploaded, it's still available. Anyways, guys, enjoy this DIY and I'll see you at the end of the video. What's up, guys? Today I'm gonna make a human iris, but out of resin. Oh yeah, and I'm also giving this one away. Stay tuned to the end to learn how you could win this. First, I loaded in the 3D print of the iris, slightly tilted it so it would print better, and then saved it to a USB. Popped that into the 3D printer, topped it up with some UV resin, and then hit print. Two hours later, the print was done, and the iris worked perfectly. Next, I removed it from its supports. And looking closer at it, everything is perfect. Now we gotta get rid of any uncured resin on the surface. For this, I'm gonna use my ultrasonic cleaner and 99% isopropyl alcohol. This is really gonna break down any uncured UV resin on the surface, leaving all the detail behind. And then dried it off. Once it was fully dried off, I then popped it out into the sun to post cure for about 10 minutes on each side. Once it sat in the sun for a bit, it was time to put a top coat on this. From past art pieces, I've learned silicone does not like UV resin, so we need to seal this piece before we mold it. For this, I'm gonna use triple thick clear gloss. This is gonna seal the entire iris and at the same time give it this nice glossy finish. As you can see here. Once that was dry, I flipped it over and then sealed the back. Next, I use some sticky tack and put it to the back of our iris. This is gonna hold the piece down to the bottom of the mold so it doesn't float up once silicone is added. And for the mold casing, I'm just using this bucket that is slightly bigger than our iris. Now it's time to mix up some silicone. This is the best. It's so delicious looking. But I have to give the disclaimer, do not eat this stuff. Once it was fully mixed, I then slowly poured it on top of our iris, letting the silicone slowly go into all the different cracks and crevices. 45 minutes later, it was fully cured and ready to be demolded. For this, I just used an X-Acto knife just to free up our piece and cut away any silicone that actually got underneath. And once it was demolded, it left an incredibly detailed, beautiful mold that we can now pour any color resin in and make pretty much unlimited iris art pieces. Now it's time for the resin. So I poured three parts of part A, and then I poured one part of part B and then mixed it. Now it's time to design our iris. For this, I'm using black diamond pigment powder. I divided the resin into three separate cups of different amounts, and I added in this white pearly color. And then the second cup, I added a blue greenish pigment. Mix that up. And then in the last one, I went with a Cambridge blue. So I just progressively got darker. Once all three colors were mixed up, it was time to pour. I first went in with the white and just sort of made these little veins stemming off of the pupil. I didn't want too much white and I didn't want it all over, so I just sort of made different length lines around the pupil. Once I was happy with that, I then went in with the darker blue and then went a little bit further around. And then once that was done, I went with the darkest blue and just did a ring around the outside of the iris. Ideally, this is gonna make sort of a gradient from dark to light as it gets towards the pupil. Then I left it to cure for 12 hours. The next morning it was time to demold our piece and it looked amazing. The white actually did hold its own and it looks so good. Now that we have our blue iris, it's time to fill in the pupil in the center. For this, I'm gonna use black 3.0. It is the world's mattest and blackest paint. I put a little dab of black paint in the center and then painted only the inner pupil. Once I was happy with it and it had enough time to dry, it was time to coat it in UV resin. For this, I'm using light cure UV resin. And this stuff cures almost instantly once it's in the sunlight. 
and then quickly hit it with a barbecue lighter to pop any surface level bubbles. Once that was crystal clear, put it in the sunlight to dry for about five minutes and our iris art piece is completed. I am so happy with how this turned out. I wasn't too sure if the pigments were going to fully blend in, but I was happy to see that they sort of held their own throughout the whole process. If you guys enjoyed this, please like and follow for more fun DIYs. And I'm actually giving away this iris over on my Instagram. All you have to do is go to my Instagram, follow, like this picture, and comment something about the art piece. And in one week's time, I'll choose a winner. And there we have it, the blue iris. I am so happy with how this turned out. It is incredibly beautiful. Actually, this art piece photographs really well. I don't, I don't know how it looks right now on video, Video, but it photographs very, very well. I know I'm gonna get a lot of comments because this video has already gone up on TikTok about how I should have made a clear resin film over top. I was gonna do that, but it's actually a lot harder than you guys think to make it a round, clear one. I may do it in the future, but for now, I really like how you can see all the detail and like the different veins of the eye. The original piece I did actually was a fail. I didn't put it in because the lesson I learned was actually more about how I put the colored resin in here, which I put in this video. So you didn't need to see how I did it wrong because I showed you how to do it right. But yes, if you guys want to win this, all you have to do is go over to my Instagram, at Danocracy, like the picture, and comment something about this. And in one week's time from the upload of this video, I'll pick a winner and announce it on my Instagram. If you guys do not win, okay, and you really want an iris, go to danocracyart.com or follow me on Instagram, and I'm going to be doing one-offs over the next few weeks. Whoever wants it can buy it. It's only one of one, first come, first serve. As it stands right now, I'm not doing like custom eyes. I'm just going to have some fun with different colors. So I've got a blue one. Might do a few more blue ones. I got a brown one that's in the making right now. I'm going to try some hazel, hazel eyes. If you guys are interested, I will be announcing them uh, on my Instagram first when they go up for sale. If you guys enjoyed this, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe because every single week I will be doing something DIY, artsy. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you guys in my next video. See you guys later.